And he lived just round the corner, you can go home in the morning, yeah? Well, I don't think so, I mean, I've only known you a day, it's a bit soon, isn't it? Give me a ring sometime, yeah? Then he started to get mad. Listen here, girl, I bought that gear you got on, I paid you in it tonight, I bought you all them drinks and you want to go home, I said, bleeding cocoa. And then he stormed off. Well, I felt a prize mug, right? So I ran after him, caught him up. There we are, walking down this road about 100 miles per hour, nothing to say. Embarrassment. Total embarrassment. And there was no one about, nothing to take your mind off anything. No cars. Not even a geek, occasional stray animal, you know. It was cold. And the wind was blowing newspapers against your legs, so you get tripping up, walking so fast. And there's all these little alleyways and railway bridges. You know it is, they all stink of piss, mess. And then all of a sudden, he grabs hold of my arm. And he starts to drag me up one of these little alleyways, you know. And he starts to hit me really hard across the face. He was hitting me, tearing up my clothes, and there was nothing I could do because he was so big, you know. Thank you. Yeah. Well, as you rest, 